Hello everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we found Odin in the Valhalla nursing home, and he sure enough was uh, lying on a bed. He was uh, pretty out of it, although it seemed like he was hungover. But, as we were profiling him, he was able to actually come into our thoughts. Uh, just like, you know, taken over, I guess. Uh, giving us clues, helping us out. Saying Tor is in trouble. He's in the wellness center. Uh, we talked to Rose and she gave us access. And sure enough, there's some shenanigans going on here. Uh, but first, we want to get... There was a rifle back here. That we definitely want to get... Although, if it's like the rifle that Alan Wake had, it's it's going to take up, what was it, four slots? Um, oops. Three slots. And I guess we can quick slot this here. We got, we got, we got some fucking... Shit, man. We got some ammunition. Oh, right. Uh, we also got a document that I didn't read last time. Gail Tatum. Gail Barrow stared at his chest x-ray. It was in his left lung. It felt like a black hole, an opening to darkness. He felt like he was drowning. He coughed and coughed and coughed. So hard, his whole body and soul felt twisted and mangled, upside down and inside out. With every cough, the black hole grew bigger. It felt good. It tore him up, but it felt good. Gale was dying. The black hole was sucking everything good out of him. He imagined looking through it. Into the darkness, the black hole grinned. Gale couldn't escape its gravity. He worshipped it. Gale sacrificed to it in blood. Okay. You need to dial it back, Gale. Quiet a bit. What the fuck is that? I was trying to dodge. The oh, fuck, man. Do we though? We seem pretty fine. We break this. Uh -oh. 
Lost and found. It's homemade. A notebook full of daily meal plans. A nice fountain pen. An antique hair clip. Very pretty. Address inquiries to your friend Rose. I found a box of ammo for a hunting rifle in the cafeteria. Rose, I think you left some behind again. You really should be more careful. Take a tip from Vlad, fellow weapon enthusiast. Always lock it up. Collect it, come collect it from me whenever you can. I bought that tea you said you liked. I can make a cup if you want. I can make your cup if you want. Uh, sure. I, I like tea. I love tea. I would be more than happy to partake. Unless it's drugged. I don't want it. Don't drug me. This must have been Tor's. His hammer? Alright. Cynthia. Play nice. No, you don't gotta do it like this. Don't have to be this way. Don't gotta be this way, Cynthia. I'm guessing Tora's back in the nursing home. Or not. Anderson, you come out of here this minute. That water is bad for you. Tor, wait! <laughs> Cynthia Weaver, I know it's you. This kind of behavior is not okay. Let him go! Tor! He's gone. <laughs> Gosh darn it. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Don't make me profile you, Rose. Don't make me do it. Can't open this with my bare hands. I mean, have you tried? You got some powers, girl. Never know till you try. All right, I'm going to do this profiling right in front of you, lady. Rose. Rose's lies. Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Yeah, what's going on with Cynthia Weaver? Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is lady. Cynthia or herself? Or both? Into the pond. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Do 
So Tor disappeared into the pond. It's an overlap. Need to find a way inside. Cynthia and Tor, an overlap ritual. Wake told Rose to look for the hero. She won't help anyone else. Rose knows what was going on here. If I tell her that Wake has returned, maybe she'll think I'm the hero and help me. Oh, got a lot. Uh, Emil Koskela stood in front of the small gathering. Mocha was a wonderful moose. His skull will become the crown of the Grandmaster. <clears throat> I remember that from before. Uh, this one here? Yeah. Grandmaster. Interesting word to use under the circumstances. Email about recruiting Tor and Odin to the cult. Uh, right there. Looks like the cult was leaning heavily on Bloom to recruit Tor and Odin. Email pressuring Bloom to recruit cult members. Sure. Confirmed cult member. Cult initiation letter signed by Ilmo and Yako Koskela. Yako and Ilmo were running the cult. Cult initiation letter addressed to Vladimir Blue. This letter looks new. Seems like he was recruited recently. And we still don't have access to those. Rose. Um, Wake has returned. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! Oh, I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torangale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Thanks. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken. Sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor. A way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. Okay, so we need to find basically a vinyl record, one of their songs to open the way to the overlap. The record. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize. To your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you. Even if it broke your grandfather's heart. And mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. Freya. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. I know where that is. 
Those are still for later. Fact versus fiction. Odin, mom moved away with me because of Tor. Tor wanted to apologize, but never got the chance. Um, this one here. Why did mom leave? From the few things mom said, this is actually plausible. Is it really true? What did Tor do to make mom leave? That is actually a good question. The Anderson brothers. So Saga jabbed the selector in the missing record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So overlap virtual, I'm guessing. Yeah. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? That's that's the that's the million dollar question right there. Uh key to getting into the overlap is the record. There's only one copy of the record. Tor kept it in the nursing homes museum. Okay. Yeah, it must have been important to them. Uh wow, that's a lot of questions. So where is Tor? What happened? What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that, too. Does Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? <laughs> oh, no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. Um, you communicate with Wake? Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places, like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. Okay. And what does he say to you with these clouds? Ways I can help him? How I can stay safe? Good dinner recipes? Ways to kill Taken? Lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately, too, so he must be working on a new book! Exciting! I wonder if it's Scratch that's doing all this. Um, Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> You're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light, and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. <laughs> the tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly don't know how to react to this. Just doing my part, sister. Uh, we should evacuate the residents. You're the one leaving those Alex Casey oh, lunchboxes oh, around, oops, aren't wrong you? Wrong button. Sorry. <laughs> Guilty. They were the only Allen-related containers I could find online. He told me to destroy the Taken around town, and I needed some way to stash my gear. I even recruited Mandy May to make knitwork decorations to mark the sites. The stashes are for you, too. You being the hero and all. Thanks. I already have been. Okay, now we should evacuate you the residents. You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh. This kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives. Very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. Okay. So... Back to exploring this place. I'm really hoping no one else here is possessed. Uh oh, what's going on here? Okay. like another perfect morning in paradise. I agree, Ilmo. A perfect morning for me to drink this coffee I'm holding. Oh shit, this coffee is shit. 
Yako, did you just drink a regular brand coffee? I did. My perfect morning is ruined. And all because of your shit coffee. If only we could have good coffee. Hey, what? What's that sound? Oh. Ilmo, look, it's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh, wow. I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better lovemaking, and deeper connection to animals. With a thermos full of hot coffee close at hand, you are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Yako? I feel like a million bucks. Thanks, old dear diner coffee. Bright Falls Blend Organic Coffee is brewed with care right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally in Puerto Rico. Try it today at Coffee <laughs> World and the old dear diner. And don't forget to try the delicious brunch special this month only for Deer Fest. Mm. Okay, that was good. I love it. It's brewed locally in Puerto Rico. <laughs> that was good. Safe from what? Where are you? Oh, here you are. To the emergency muster point. Guys, can you? Can you? Put on a fucking... Oh, God. <sighs> are you injured? Mandy May, are you alright? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, no! Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. That's more than a poke. That's a jab. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Artie, Gil, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Tell me about Cynthia Weaver. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tora won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life? And I can't remember this building. The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. You say so. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never a compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time, me and my listeners. All right, you guys stay out here. I'll check out this place i ain't afraid no ghost or taken or uh jump scares from cynthia weaver golden stuck in bed God. Odin Anderson stirred in his bed, his vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, 
He made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young. Too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the Allfather. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. That's sad. Uh... Through the haze he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how he said... Oh, okay. Come in, Odin. Oh, oh. Wait, what? Are you here? Or are you next door? You're next door. Okay. I'm here, bro. I'm here. So, I guess we could take another look in here just in case. Yeah, that's nothing to do. So, the vinyl's in there. I'm going to check upstairs first. I'm going to check that room last. All these doors are open now. Check that out later. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which street the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Is your room, Ozzy? I like it. Finland for holidays. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes, but I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom liked to talk. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Still can't get in there. Mandy May. Mandy May. We've already been in here. Uh, we haven't been in Norman's room. Riddles Through the Ages by Shabnam Dabiri. Over 200 teasers, tickles, and twisters. Note to self, hide the thing with a nice little riddle like this. Better than they actually look. To get to the otter side, 250 otter this world puns to help your conversations go swimmingly. God. 
where where oh don't you say put all right don't move So how do I get to the basement? Is it this? No. Seriously, how do I get to the basement? Reload, please? Like, I'm spamming the button and it's not reloading. Basement. Oh, fuck me. Shit. I need to get the power back. Yeah. Key fob's no good without power. That's a key fob. It is. So it is. How the fuck is anyone supposed to walk around in this? It doesn't budge. Not even a little. Remember, buy more fuses. Many more. Crappy old equipment keeps blowing them. Vladimir Blue. Barry struggles with artists. Barry, eh? God. All right, I'm gonna take a minute and read the manuscripts. Uh. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back. An on-off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler? Hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. <laughs> That's funny. Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks care home. 
At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leaks started appearing. Oh, Barry. You silly bitch. Fuse is blown. Maybe there are spares nearby. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Must be locked from the other side. Must be. Manuscript pages here. And it was taken. God, what the fuck? How big is this basement? Come on. House of Zane, renowned filmmaker, establishes artist commune in Bright Falls. Thomas Zane, born Thomas Zane, Finland, and his partner Barbara Jagger, born Baba Yakala, Yakala in Finland, have recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Mr. Zane has purchased the old manor house outside the town, and the couple is already settled in. In his home, in his home country, and internationally as well. Mr. Zane is a well-known and respected auteur filmmaker, a rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Ingmar Bergman. His earlier film, Nightless Night, won a number of European film awards. Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming a feature entitled Tom the Poet. In conversation, Mr. Zane came, comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. hotel and a film studio even as the name picked out for the hotel ocean view hotel this reporter believes the name has a nice ring to it mr zane's dreams would certainly make bright falls a household name if they became reality members of the commune clearly feel the same seeing zane as a person worth revering even to a faintly cult-like degree person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness and reach a higher state of artistic inspiration with the aid of magic mushrooms. While the Bright Falls record does not condone the use of illegal drugs, we hope Mr. Zane will help put our town on the artistic map. So Zane has pretty much um, made it so that the Dark Place is like a good reflection of his wants and desires. The power's off. Oh, yeah, duh. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Road. Oh, 273. Rose, if you see this, please remind my residents. To leave my stuff uh, alone. I think they hate me. 273.
Is that a person or a duck? There. Power's back on. And I think I'm going to call it there, guys. We'll deal with whatever it is next time. Well, it's Cynthia Weaver, but we'll deal with her next time. Um, I didn't expect this whole section to go on as long as it did. I thought we'd be we'd definitely be in the overlap by now, but hey, I like exploring, so um, I'm happy to get back into the game. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.